Hello everybody, it has been a few weeks, but welcome back to The Gaming Pantry. This is Retro Bear saying, how do you do? And hope all is well in your part of the world as I bring you an update as to what's been going on for the past month, because it has been, I think, about five weeks since I've last done one of these videos. In fact, so much has changed in the last five weeks that um, there's a lot to catch up on. Which is great. Uh, firstly, let us address the game in the room. And you'll notice, uh, the eagle-eyed amongst you, that I'm playing this. Well, I'm not playing. I wouldn't play it, would I? It's a satin game. Quality cover, these. See, the glue has completely come away from the front cover on that one. That requires sticking down. Uh, it's Tomb Raider, which, of course, um, most of us now sort of appreciate that Tomb Raider was. That's the... Uh, I don't want to mess around with it too, it's going to fall apart in my hands. Uh, appreciate that Tomb Raider was the Saturn exclusive, or the very first, you know, the game that was uh, appeared on the Saturn first, and as a result, now tends to get overlooked because the PlayStation 1 version came out. But uh, this is where it all began. And, um, yeah, so Tomb Raider, there we go. I'll have that in the background uh, to be going on with. Ghost of Proof that, you know, that's been a long time since I've used that Saturn, and it still works, which is lovely. Uh, so what we're going to do in this episode... Um, I'm going to split it into two parts. We'll do this part first, and there'll be another part in a few days' time, which will bring the rest of you up to date. So, part two will have. Um, just give me a second. Uh, there we go. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, things like uh, general pickups, which I've done. I've had a few. I've got a few pickups to show you. Um, and also uh, some shout outs in that video. Which I won't do in this, but I'll do some in this video and some in the next one. And also, those of you who watch Mrs. Bear, uh, interested about Mrs. Bear's repairs, I can give you an update on that. That will be in the next video. This one is totally going to focus on, uh, focus on two things. One, uh, a couple of shout outs. And two, I've had a lot of stuff sent to me in the post. And um, it really is to highlight the generosity of, of some of our the YouTube members, some of the YouTube community, some of the gaming community. Because I've I've had so much stuff sent to me in the last couple of weeks. It's just been immense, and some of it I've got to pay. For. I've got to. Some of it I I've agreed to pay for. Some of it I've tried to offer to pay for. <laughs> People just said I just want shot of them or, um, you know, have them and 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 be gone with, which is, uh, well, um, unbelievable. Really, absolutely unbelievable. It's great. Um, so that's what we're going to do mostly in this episode. I'll sort of break it up, do a couple of boxes, then we'll <laughs> boxes, yes, and then we'll do some shout outs and then the rest of them. Uh, just a quick update as to where things are. I mean, obviously, I think it was the 15th of May I last did one of these videos, which was right sort of in the middle of this sort of lockdown period that we've had here in the UK. And uh, things have changed somewhat. We're now allowed to go outside and do things, albeit restricted, and the shops have opened again, albeit restricted. It's very, very strange. Um, because, as I said before, you know, I've worked all the way through this. Nothing's really changed for me. Everything is exactly the same. I just go out to work every single day, come home every single day. Nothing changes. The only thing that doesn't uh, sort of fit into that is going out and shopping. And even though the shop's open this week, trying to find something yesterday for um, me dad belatedly for his birthday and also for Father's Day was a task which was nigh impossible. Because obviously you've got to queue everywhere because you, you won't let people in. I went to a big supermarket and they were queuing off the car park and onto the main road and then I went to a garden centre and then they were queuing out the door and snake round the car park and people were literally going to the car park saying no nope, and going back out again. I haven't had a queue at my, my normal supermarket to get in or the first time I've had to queue there during this entire period as well so it's 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 strange it's strange it really is but signs that we are gradually but slowly, surely returning to something like what life was like before. We have still got steps to do. We still need to be careful and all that. But, yeah, it's it's sort of turning back to back to it. And, you know, one day we'll be there. Not yet, but we've got a long way to go. But one day we will get there anyway. So that's my little uh, lockdown coronavirus update for you as to how things are. Uh, hopefully mentioning work I should be able to get some time off in the next few weeks I'm hoping so anyway because my colleague is going back to work next week and hopefully once he's got his feet back under the table and done some other stuff we need to sort out he will then be able to pick up the stuff I've been doing for the past three months and then I can leave him on his own for a couple of weeks and then I can have some and can put my feet up uh, which would be nice 
because I must admit, the last couple of weeks I have been getting more and more run down and tired and fed up the whole cycle and the fact that I tend to spend Saturday pretty much sat down doing absolutely nothing and then I try and cram everything in on a Sunday like today I'm doing this video I'm going to mow the lawns front and back I'm going to go and see my dad because it's Father's Day because I can go and see my dad now because I can go and sit outside the house at least anyway and it's a nice day today which is all the rain stopped which is yeah so I tend to try and, you know cram everything in on a Sunday uh, so I have one day of rest one day of running around doing anything and all I'm back to work on the Monday so anyway right so let, let, let's start off with uh, some of this this fantastic stuff which has been sent to me um and this one this one sort of takes care of both the shout outs and the thank yous uh, this is uh, from a package i received from mike loves games who's been known as mike the gamer uh, and all these people I'm, I'm talking about will be linked in the description below uh mike's been commenting on my videos probably now for about 18 months or so and it seems to be like a you know really really nice guy he could he popped into the tmb podcast live gaming chat sunday nights at seven on youtube Plug. and uh, he, he was talking to our resident 360 expert and, and sort of said well I've got these games here you know do you want them and uh, Rob said no oh give it away there it's Rob Rob said no so I said okay well you know if nobody wants them Mike I said uh, he said well does anybody want them he said because uh, I'd rather went to a collector and he said well do you want them and I said well okay yeah yeah well whatever he sent me a list of them and i thought well i've got a couple but i said i don't know the other ones i haven't got those so if you don't want them mike i'll, I'll happily have them so wants them to go to a collector which is what i am i'm not a gamer any well i'm sort of that much collector and that much gamer now i'm getting that getting that that blurred line which at one point be 50 50 is now sort of definitely more like that uh but if if you know people want these to go to a good home I'm very happy to to accept. So Mike sent me some uh, 360 stuff. Some of it's sealed. I think it's was it four of the games sealed, four sealed and and two not. But um, I do have a couple of these. But um, you know, Mike wanted to send them all out as one. So Mike, thank you very much indeed. That's really really generous of you. And this was great to receive. Received yesterday, which is Saturday. Um, absolutely fantastic. So uh, what have we got? I say I've got three of these. I know I've got two possibly of them, possibly three anyway. So we've got Brink, which is a game which is so readily available. But I think it's got on the on the um, PlayStation 3 as well. But it's a it's a really nice copy as well, really clean. So I'll, I'll see if it's better than my copy. If it is, I'll swap this one in and swap the other one out. There's the back of it there. But I mean, if you've got a 360, it's, it's a game which is cheap as chips. Um, then we've got a sealed copy of Resident Evil 6, which everybody hates. Now this is also, um, if you probably look a bit closely there, the glare's not enough and your Italian's good. Uh, can you see those there? Oh, anyway, it's the Italian copy. Hey! <laughs> Mamma mia! No, um, oh dear, it's terrible, sorry. I apologise for any, offending any Italians out there with that dreadful uh, stereotypical impersonation. Um, yes, I've got this one. Um, so I should probably swap this straight to my collection. But yes, yeah, the Italian version. And those people who, who know me will know I've got a, an Italian copy of Alien vs Predator. And I've got a Dutch copy of um, Red Dead Redemption. So there's even a sticker on there which has got something to do with Italy on it as well. I, I don't mind where they come from. It's, it's games as far as I'm concerned. I like games. So that's good. Then there's also another sealed copy. I've also got this one as well. Which I picked last year. Which is Max Payne 12. Not the French version. No, it's Max Payne 3. I mean, I'm not going to open it to be sealed, but everything's in there. Lovely. Nice. Again, again, it's, it's not particularly difficult to pick up. You can find it's dirt cheap everywhere. But uh, I will certainly keep that. So got this, it also has got the uh, Xbox um, sticker down the side as well. Protection label on it. So again, just swap that one out for mine. Or I might keep mine and play it. Gives me, ex gives me an excuse to play it then. Now the three games that I haven't got are the ones that I've got here, and again one of those is sealed and the other two aren't. So the first one which isn't, which is a game I've never heard of, is called Dark, which I think is a vampire type thing, judging by I've read the back, but again, lovely clean copy. Now I've looked after his games as young Mike. And it's just nice to have these these in such fabulous fabulous condition. Uh, but yeah, it says uh, definitely don't look familiar with the game, you are a shadow in the dark, you are the ultimate hunter. Your name is Eric Bain, uh, and you are a vampire. So, yes. 
not sure it's my sort of game, but as it's open, I will give that a go. Okay. None of the, those are not particularly, you know, uncommon. They are, they are common games to pick up. Now, the two, uh, two I've got left are also sealed, and these are slightly different. I'm quite happy with this one. First of all is uh, FIFA 16. Now, again, we've talked many, many times on this channel about sort of late-year sports titles, and this one still holds its value at the moment. So, yeah, that's a FIFA game, but, you know, if you do pick this up, you know, those of you who pick things up for trade, this is one of the games that you can, you can get three quid back on, I think, at the moment, something like that. And being sealed, hopefully it still contains all the uh, the DLC on it. And this game I know um, is going to probably excite some people. Uh, for me, I'm not quite sure, although I am I'm desperately intrigued after reading the back of the box as to what this game actually is. Never heard of this series, it's not really my sort of thing. And this is Death Smiles, which is the deluxe edition, and this is also sealed as well. Now I am aware that this game is worth a few quid. So again, Mike, thank you for that... Um, I'm definitely going to keep hold of this one now. Unless anybody wants to make me a stupid offer. But um, no, I'm, I'm definitely going to keep hold of it. The Complete Death Miles Experience. Uh, but it's also, um, it says, uh, includes the Mega Black Label download content, online co op and leaderboards, includes original soundtrack and desktop accessories. So there is a thing there as well. I'm not quite sure whether this is a fighting game or whether it's a platform uh, no it's not a fighting game, it's not well it's a platform or whether it's a JRPG, I don't know. Uh, I guess it might be a combination of probably two or three of those. I am intrigued by it but I don't know sort of <laughs> Yeah, but I've never heard of it before but yeah I'm absolutely intrigued by that. Yeah, honestly, having looked at the back of there I think I'd like to play that. But yeah, so that's some from Mike Loves Games. Uh Mike, thank you again very much indeed for that fantastically uh, generous of you, my friend. I uh, really appreciate it. Now, uh, they've come in. So that was one parcel I've received. Uh, where we got it? Ah. Now, um, when we get this, this is where it started. That's the last lot I've had. I'm going to start with the first lot I've had. Yeah, I'll, I'll do these in order, don't I? And I received this one from, from a, a very good friend of mine who happened to be passing... Uh, it's Dane, so we all know Dane, so don't we? And um, fantastic um, pillar of the community that that, that that young lad is. He really has done a fantastic job keeping everybody together during this period. I know he's had an awful lot going on in his own life as well. So to balance that and trying to keep everybody, you know, keeping people entertained and giving people something to look forward to on a weeknight when during the, the depth of lockdown, he's just, uh, you know, I, I don't know how. I don't know how you managed to do it, my friend. It was, uh, hat is off to you. If I had a hat on, I'd take it off. There we go. And um, he put a, a picture up on the, on the Discord group we're part of and said, anybody want some of these? And I said, oh, uh, how much do you want for that? And he'd give me a price for it. I said, yeah, fantastic. So um, I owe him for that. And um, the next day, he came by and dropped another parcel through my door. Um, and I think I've got, I think, <laughs> I know I'm going to pay for that as well. So, but it's, it, this is great. And, and again, fantastic. And the great thing about Dainsel was he, he, he went above and beyond and, and sort of expressed his artwork. Um... <laughs> <laughs> He's quality art skills. This is brilliant. I love this. It's the gate. The, it's the gaming pantry, not the games pantry. That's the posh version of it. If I had another, what's it, turret on this side of the building as opposed to over there, you know, we, we, I mind mean, you know where I live now. So, uh, but I love the fact he's actually gone to the point of actually putting a little stamp on it with bear mail on it. Lovely. Little things like that that, that mean an awful lot to people. It's going to go and beyond. Customary, I think, to understand that there's uh, some sweets in there as well, which I haven't eaten yet. Well, I haven't eaten the sweets yet. I don't know. I think I'll give those to Mrs. Bear. She likes sweets. I'll put those over there so I don't forget them. And the game we're talking about, which uh, he, he very kindly dropped through my, my letterbox, you pardon the expression, uh, is uh, World of Illusion on the Mega Drive story. Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck, a game I absolutely have wanted since I first saw it and when I didn't even own a Mega Drive. Uh Customary Dane's the fashion to put the manual in a plastic uh, wallet. And the cartridge is absolutely... The only thing he's missing is the hanger, but I mean, uh, he's done me a good price on this one. Uh, it's five, I think, he's, he's asked uh, I'm for this. So we'll get that to you as soon as I can. And that is just fantastic. I say, it's a game I've always wanted to play. I absolutely love the Disney games uh, that came out on the Mega Drive. The, the, the animation and the quality of the, the, the care and attention to detail just fantastic in these games so uh, I should be giving that a go very very shortly and like I said he again passed this way again a few days later so he thought well 
He's probably well. He mentioned this a few month, few weeks ago, I think, and I, I didn't think anything else about it. I completely forgot about it, and then um, uh, this arrived. And I thought, as soon as it arrived, I thought, I know what this is. So again, he's done one of his lovely little labels. We now we now live in the games pantry, so we're getting closer. We're getting closer, but again, he's found some felt tips. So he's coloured the stamping, and it uh, says UK Bear Mail. I'm keeping these. I'm, I might. I, I'm, I'm just going to keep these because they're just. You know, when somebody does something like that for you, it just means you know, or they put a note in with the stuff that they sent you, like people have done for me in the past. Um, and I might, might didn't put a note in, but Mike sent me a few emails about things, which was which was great, and there's a communication there. Little touches like this will just make everything. So, that, so those of you who listen to the TMB Gaming podcast. Um, would appreciate there's a, there's a long running joke during the course of that uh, that uh, uh, broadcast that we do each week, and and we haven't done it for the last couple of weeks because I can safely say that we now have Spice World on the PlayStation One. Yeah, yeah. You may have noticed that there's my Spice World. I don't shout this off before. I may have done oh, my limited edition Spice World the movie tin. Again, my Spice, Spice Girls memorabilia, which now stands at two items and a few CD singles. So, if you want that, anyway, uh, it's a terrible game because I had this game when it first came out. Um, doesn't come with a map, but Dane's mentioned he had this and he was going to try and get me a copy of it at some point. So, uh, uh, it's definitely worth a drink. It's a return to thanks. Yes, I did have this when it first came out. It's a rotten game. Um, I was surprised actually how many people have got this game in their collection that, that don't want to admit it. But they do. I have a list. I have a list of names. <laughs> I have a list of names which I'm prepared to release for the right amount. As to actually who else will own up to own a copy of that. But thanks to thank you again. And thank you again for, for everything you did for us. Uh, during those those sort of two, two, three months that everything was a bit dark and a bit bleak. And especially with other stuff that was going on with you. That was just uh, amazing. Uh, so we've still got where one, two, three. We got yeah, three got three got the other. I'll do this one next because oh, everywhere. I'll do this one next because the other ones are a bit um, they're, they're quite on the large side. So we'll get these this one done. Um, and again through the Discord uh, group, which which, uh, which again was set up during that time, and another Pope fit photograph went up or something, you know. Uh, Sort of offering things around, and I said, "Oh yeah, I, uh, uh, I very much like those. Um, how much do you want for them?" And I got a message back saying, "Oh, uh, from Dad, Dad and Lads Gaming, Marcus and Tommy. Hello to you." And uh, he said, "I'll put them aside for you. That's fine." So I thought, "Okay." Um, <laughs> and uh, I thought, "Well, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I could do with these games." And then I got a couple of messages sort of saying, oh, Marcus is trying to get hold of you um, on the Discord. So I went, got home from work, went on the Discord. And I, 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 for, Mark, I said, well, how much you want for this sort of thing? You know, because there is, there, is there is some real value to this. And I said, how much do you want? And Marcus came back. I can't remember the exact phrase to me, uh, but he was, but he just, he just wanted me to have them because sometimes he likes to be a nice person. And I think that's a, that's a great thing to have. And... I, I, you know, I, I'm, I am determined to make sure that people who are doing these little favours and, and these generosities to me do get something back in return at some point. So, I think he did mention I saw a copy of Castlevania Symphony of the Night knocking around the PlayStation One that um, he, he'd like that. So, yeah, I'll, I'll keep my eyes open for that one for you, mate. Yeah, yeah, we'd all love a copy of that, wouldn't we? Um, <laughs> but no, it, I, I, that's the sort of thing, and uh, you know, I appreciate that. You know, so many people have just donated. I mean, again, over the last sort of twelve months, donated so many things to my collection. And and because I, I I haven't got anything to give back, that's the problem. So I appreciate that there's going to be you know probably buying three rounds of drinks for everybody at some point in the future at an event or um, you know just just trying to find something that somebody's after. And you know if you have given me something over the years, the last couple of years or so, you know if you see anything you want, then just let me know and I'll see if I can help you with anything. Uh, I, I don't want to appear to be somebody who keeps taking all this stuff and doesn't give anything out. That's wrong. I don't like. Can't doesn't sit easy with me. I mean, believe me, I've tried to offer to pay for some of this stuff and offer people things in return. But there's so many nice people out there. Who just you know, just said, oh no, it's okay, it's okay. But please, you know, uh, I don't want to sort of appear like be like a freeloader or something like that. It's the last thing I want. 
So Marcus said, yep, yeah, we'll send you this. And, and, and that was it. And I couldn't quite believe it. And I'm just like, wow, this is just, just complete second level. This was, this was what caught my eye because it's, it's, a, it's a system I've been trying to collect for this year. And a game I know so very well from going back to my youth. So I've got a loose copy of Gauntlet on the Master System. Which again, if you don't know Gauntlet, it was a four-player arcade game from the mid '80s. Uh, you got a wizard, an elf, a Valkyr, and a warrior, and you sort of in dungeons, and you have to go from point A to where the exit is, and they'll throw false exits in there. You go collect keys and treasure, and pick up food to replenish your energy. And all the while, you've been bombarded by ghosts and grunts and death and slime. And uh, I've got. I think I've got this on the Commodore 64 and the Spectrum. I've also got Gauntlet 2 on the NES and the Game Boy. So I, I actually love Gauntlet games. I'm terrible at them. I know good at them, but yeah, I'll play them and keep going and keep going. And that's Fatty Counter Mass System. It's brilliant. So I'm really chuffed to get that one. So thank you for that, Marcus. Uh, let's drop that there for a second once I've done these. And the other three games on the Wii U. I was like, and, and, and you'll, you'll see what we see why I was so surprised that, that you know, and, and, and believe me, I was happy to pay for them. I'm happy to pay for them. Um, so what have we got? So we've got uh, Super Mario World 3D. Or Super Mario 3D World. Again, I've been playing um, Mario Maker 2 on the Switch. And I just don't like it. Because it's too much like the old Mario games that I don't like. And I think I am now more of a fan of the 3D Mario games. Like Mario 64 and Sunshine and Galaxy. Uh, compared to you know, 1, 2 and 3 and World and Mario Maker and New Super Mario Brothers. So I'm hoping this is going to be a bit more when I say 3D sort of as in 3D. But I don't know, I haven't played it yet so I'll have to go with it. But yeah, it's just just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Uh, second one I've got, again, no fan of this series at all but I, I want to give it a try. I think I, I, I owe it to myself to give it another go. And this is uh, Super Smash Brothers Wii U. I've had this on the GameCube before, and it's a game I can't get on with. And again, beautifully looked after. Absolutely fantastic. All the manuals are there, whatever you get for manuals nowadays. And the disc in great condition. Um, I just need to give it a go properly. Uh, and try it again. Because if, if I like it, I may pick up the other games. It might, might replenish my interest in fighting games. Then again, maybe not. I don't know. I may end up hating it. And then the final one, the part of the four games that Marcus and, uh, sent me and Tommy, uh, Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze. And I've got loads of Donkey Kong games now. I've got Donkey Kong Country, I've got Donkey Kong Country Returns, I've got Donkey Kong 64, and uh, now this one. So, yeah, absolutely chuffed to get there. And again, beautifully looked after. It's absolutely fantastic to see the condition of some of these things. It really is amazing. Donkey Kong Island is in a deep freeze. Fantastic. So monkeys and bananas and all sorts going on there. I mean, I mean that is just again, just absolutely fantastic. We'll get it around the right way. There we go. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So, guys, thank you very much again. That, that's uh, going straight into that. I'm going to do a Wii U collection video pretty shortly because it's uh, one of the smaller ones I've got. So that's all right. <laughs> it won't go on for hours like the PlayStation 1 did. But yeah, so just absolutely fantastic to get those. And uh, yeah, so so that's it. Uh, wow, I mean, it is brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, Lara, Lara agrees. And actually sort of scowling at me at the moment. She's like, hurry up. How long have you been going now? Probably about 25, 30 minutes already. So let's um, do some shout outs, shall we? Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, let's do some shout outs because... Uh, I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five. I've got nine written down. I'm gonna do four, four. I'm gonna do five today, and do the rest on. I'll find another one for next time. Just some people's channels. I've been. I've sort of picked up on people who've been commenting quite a lot, and and uh, on, on some of the stuff we've been doing. And I think these uh, people deserve a shout out. So the first one I'm gonna go out um, is a guy called Ginger Hippie Gaming. Now I'm not sure again if you you've uh, seen his channel, but uh, looks like a real sort of game. GameCube fan. I love the way his channel starts off with the old GameCube graphic. It's, it's really well done. And uh, done this really interesting, like, short, see, I mean, really short videos. We're talking about 30 seconds to 45 seconds each of Fireside Confessions, where it's just him sat there with a drink saying, I don't like this game. And that's it. It's, 
it's, it's, it's, it's really great. I'm surprised no one else has thought of that. Or maybe they have, I don't know, but I just think it's great. And again, got some great items in his collection going through his VHS stuff as well. He's got some of the old games in there. And yeah, just, just absolutely great. So do check him out. And I will also put a link in the description of these below. So that's Ginger Hippie Gaming. Uh, another guy I know that a, a few of you watch, and I, I think just sort of found his channel by accident, uh, Jay is a man child. Now, this is a fantastic channel. Again, if you like your old 8 bit stuff, there's a lot of Spectrum stuff on there. So I know there's a lot of Spectrum viewers out there. And he just picks, it's mostly so far from what I can see reviews of games about TV shows. I think one of the latest videos he put was a Dukes of Hazard on, on the Spectrum. I didn't even know that game existed. I'm a massive Dukes of Hazard fan. So it's great, but brilliantly done game footage with a commentary, which is which is so well done, and a criminally low amount of subscribers. Honestly, people people who notice the videos, it really is. It's such a shame because the guy's got a, a great idea for for reviews. He's got a good sense of humour as well. Uh, certainly made me laugh a few times, and I, I love the you know his title cards and everything. Just just go along and have a look. It, it's been fantastic. He's been a little bit quiet because he's had a problem with his laptop, but I think that's all sorted out now. He's done a couple of videos in the last week. So Jay is manchild. Jay is manchild. Fantastic. Worth checking out. Um, I'm also going to give a shout out to my friend Time Warp James, who's been known as James Kia. So I was going to do a joke about furniture and the fact that he missed the eye out of his name, but I've done it now. There we go. So I'll leave you to work out whether that was a good idea or not. Uh, and, and James is, a, again, relatively uh, sort of new uh, comer to YouTube. He's been doing a few videos, his collection, his pickups. He, he inspired me to do the wrestling video collection. Uh, I think we've we both spoken about it. And he sort of did it before I did. And um, then I did mine. And we, we may go back to that at some point. I don't know. So a few people watched it, which was great. But uh, some people watched it and didn't like it. So... I don't know, uh, but James is is fantastic and and just seems like a great guy and and something I think I can probably sit down and certainly talk wrestling with for for a great length of time. But he's got also got fantastic games collection as well, some really good classic retro stuff boxed. Uh, I don't know if people might find these things from such good condition, but he has. There may be his original things. I don't know, um, but yeah, just just absolutely brilliant. And a, again, so a really really nice guy. Uh, so he does change his channel name like you may not be realised, but it's now Time Warp James. I think it's quite good actually, I quite like that. And then um, the fifth guy I'm going to share out, which very neatly leads me on to my um, next sort of uh, collection. Collection? Gift. That my, my next donation. That's the best way to describe it. Uh, I've got to write it because I remember the yeah, part, best part of his channel. I know a few people know him from, from years ago apparently, but I came across, uh, sort of started speaking to him in the, in the Danes to lockdown chats. And this is Darth Steve Treble 3. Darth Steve Treble Three. What a great name for a, a channel. And I think Steve's been away for a bit and's come back again now, and uh, he's been sorting his, his loft out. And he, he's uh, he listens to the podcast which we do on a weekly basis. Um, and he sort of mentioned I mentioned a game, and he also watched my channel as well. And I mentioned a game uh, in the PlayStation One collection called Chase the Express, which a few people sort of got in contact with me about, but um, nothing ever sort of came of that. And Steve very kindly said to me, he said, oh, I've got a copy of that. He said, I'm sure I've got a copy of that. I'll, I'll, I'll have a look through and let you know. And it was great because I've never been able to find a copy of it since. And I think I may have seen it once, maybe twice, and never picked it up. Um, so he said, oh, I'll find that for you. And if I find it, I'll send it to you. So he, he got in contact and a few days later. He said, yeah, managed to find a copy of it. I'll get you one sent out in the post. I thought, Brilliant. That's really good of you. Thank you so much. Mm. I should have got these out before I started, but there's so many of them. Uh, yes, yeah, so, yeah, rather than send me one, Steve, Steve sent me nine PlayStation 1 games instead. You remember to send Chase Express, but he sent me some more as well. And again, I wasn't expecting any of these. But, wow, uh, this is just great. So uh, I'll try and do these without dropping them, because some of these are a bit fragile. This, place, it's, this PlayStation 1 stuff in it is going to be fragile. Let's show you the game that started all this conversation off. And this is what I'm on about. This is Chase the Express. And there we go. Now, I, I can't... Again, I, I completely forgot. Um, it's actually a two-player, two-disca. It didn't get very good. It didn't review very well. It's got the manual and also a, a pamphlet in there as well. But it didn't review very well at all when it came out. People gave it average reviews. If you were sort of average, you know, six, seven out of ten or something like that, which is not great. 
Um, but I loved it, and it sort of set you know, if you sort of think Under, Sie uh, Under Siege 2 with Steven Seagal, that's the sort of thing we're getting at. Terrorists on a train. I never finished it um, back in back when I had it, so I'm gonna have a, have a go at that. So that was great. So I, I was just expecting that, and then Steve sent me other stuff as well. So what else he sent me? He sent me a note, and the note says, "I have enclosed a couple of bonus items as well as Chase the Express. Uh, there's also a couple of loose discs in there. I'm just cutting something out here because I'll give it away before I show it. Uh, there's a couple of loose discs in there as well. I thought you might like. Have fun and stay safe, Steve." Thank you, buddy. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, so what have we got? Let's uh, start with the loose discs. So we've got uh, WrestleMania, the arcade game, which I've never played. Never played that one. I, I have a, f a feeling it's meant to be not very good. Uh, he also sent me the other loose disc game, which again I alluded to in my collection video. It's the first game I had for the PlayStation 1, and that's Alien Trilogy. So I've got it on um, the Saturn, but this was the, the first game I had for PlayStation 1, so... Couple of loose discus. Uh, also got a copy of Tomb Raider 2, which has got a bit of a crack in the top, but that's fine. It's got the manual um, and the. Just try and hold some of these at best I can. Again, having watched my PlayStation 1 video, uh, I've only got Tomb Raiders 1 and 3. And 3 hasn't got the disc in it, so I've got Tomb Raider 3 box. But yeah, so that's the back of it as well. So see, we have a bit of a Tomb Raider episode this week. It sort of fits in quite nicely. And then there's Tomb Raider The Last Revelation, which I have on the Dreamcast. But again, and this is a really nice nice copy. This one's got all the manuals and stuff in it. Look at that giant booklets and things in there. There's the inside of it. And again, this is a, this is a, a really nice condition copy as well. Everything is, is pretty much immaculate about that one. So, yeah, a bit of more Lara Croft. And then he's... Which I think possibly is the worst-looking PlayStation 1 game I've ever seen. Uh, Two Raider 3, which is, comes in three parts. But I don't know why Steve sent me that. Is because... Um, it's got the disc in it, which I haven't got in my copy. And I think I might be able to possibly... Maybe use some bits out of it as well. I don't know to to try and replace my this and that one. But yeah, I can see why that why that one was just pushed through. Uh, other one as well he sent me as well, which is uh, I think I know I've got a Formula One game in my collection. So there's Formula One ninety seven, which I think has got the old macro or um, uh, Virgin Mega Store sticker on there possibly. Please take your selection to the cash desk. Don't put it in your pocket and run out the door. But again, great game series, the Formula 197. Formula 1 game, Psygnosis, were absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Sort of changed the way that racing games were. Uh, and then, uh, during the PlayStation 1 video, you, you'd have noticed, if you have seen it, that there was a Smackdown game in the background. And I got a copy of Smackdown, but I got a copy of Smackdown 2 in the box. I'm not sure how that happened. So Steve has very kindly rectified that by sending me a copy of Smackdown. Which, again complete with manual and the disc so I can now put this together and I've uh, put that and put there and there's the back of the box lay the smackdown and he's also very kindly sent me a copy of smackdown 2 which he pre-warned me in advance has got a terrible um I hope you don't want me showing this off mate but um yeah the 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 inlay cover and the manual are pretty much water damaged um, he did say to me, he said, I'll leave that to you to, to decide what to do with. So I, I should probably end up probably chucking that anyway or keeping it as a... And there's a copy of the disc there. The case is also broken on that one, but um, I can probably make a good copy for the one I've got. And then there's the back of the box. But yeah, again, Smackdown was a staple of my PlayStation 1 growing up. Smackdown 2. I never think I actually played, or did I? Very briefly, possibly. But yeah, so having expected Chase the Express 1, or Ch Chase the Express 1, Chase the Express, um, I end up with, with eight further games on top of that, which I'm so grateful for, and that will certainly fill in some gaps in the collection. Steve, thank you very much indeed again. That is just so generous of you. 
I never wasn't expecting that. It's absolutely brilliant. And then finally, finally, I say finally because uh, there is something else which will be coming, uh, coming, possibly very shortly. Of course, another YouTuber which uh, uh, won't obviously make it into this video. I've got, so I've got boxes piling up in the pantry. It's, it's tiny enough as it is in, in, as it is anyway in here. Uh, I've got to sort of stop putting this stuff onto the shelves or filing it away. So we'll have to work with that anyway. Uh, so there's another one will come at some point, but this one. Uh, now, this YouTuber is is, is a community legend. Everybody knows who um, on a retro tip is uh, Pete Armour, and he's, he's very kindly sent me some stuff for my Saturn in the past. Again, see the Saturn in the background, and uh, he, he posted something on our WhatsApp group, and and he actually said to me, "Is any are these any good to you?" And I thought, "Yeah, there's quite a few there." I said, "Wow, that's that's great." I said, "You know, what do you want for them?" And he said, uh, "I just want rid of them. I fit up staring at them, or something like that." memory serves me correctly so here's a note uh here are us here are the playstation games very in condition but hopefully some are good to you pete so a box of playstation one games arrive as well box oh. i should have sent me a little table because i keep bending down i'm just going to drag these out and some of these, like I said, I, I did say to Pete, so I've got a few, not many, not all of them, but I've got a few of these. So some of these, depending on what they will go into a placement, I probably will put the rest. See if there's any good boxes out of them. If not, I'll put them into charity shop and redonate them, them that way. Um, same with, with anything that Mike's passed on to me, which I've already got. Um, and if I can make decent copies out of the one that Steve sent me as well, I will do exactly that. So try and push those back and, and put those into charity shops and things like once they get going. So what we got, so we've got FIFA 2000. So I think I've got with Sol Campbell on the front. Again, as, as Pete did mention, some of the boxes are in varying condition, like that one. There we go. A little crack on the top of it. But again, it's got all the manuals in it. So uh, if anybody, you know, does see anything like this, I know that, you know, that they do want any, just get in contact. Because I'm always happy to push these around the community if they want. Otherwise, they will go if I have got them into charity it's the world of football then we've got another fifa fifa 2002 which i haven't got so i'm having that one it's thierry Henry on the front okay. didn't know they're still making the tooth fifa by the time we got to that point um tomb raider 2 now again i think when pete offered me these i didn't realize that steve was going to send me copies of that as well there's a crack in the case on that one uh, it doesn't have the inlay card but it does have the manual and the disc so you've seen that one already but have another look what else we got uh, there's a, a playstation demo disc which has on gran turismo 2 which is video footage only you can play tomb raider the last revelation playable demo and also Spyro the Dragon 2 which is a game I've never played and there's a demo of it on there plus also Mission Impossible Fighting Force 2 with Destrega Killer Loop Millennium Soldier Kingsley is that a film about the actor? you have to audition for Gandhi or something like that I'm guessing uh, Championship Motocross Jimmy White's Cue Ball exclusive video and uh, some other stuff so it's PlayStation uh, magazine disc 52 anybody's keeping count out there and i'll just show you the back of that because there's nothing to show there we go uh you are the weakest link goodbye so this will be a very very quick video uh i had this yeah i am no stranger to buying rubbish when it comes out and i bought this one but i like quiz quiz shows and quiz games and things like that so that one's right up my street uh now uh, fantastic to know Formula 198 so I now have Formula 1 Formula 1 97 Formula 1 98 in uh, my collection all the side notices Formula 1 games and again brilliantly looked after Bridgestone tyres and all sorts lovely so, they are really good racing games to play so I'm just absolutely thrilled to have those I know absolutely nothing about this one uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. So I have absolutely no idea. 
I think it's some sort of card game. There's no manual with it. Well, I say card game, like a trading card game, possibly. Um, well, it's from Konami. You know, I mean, I'll give anything a go once, possibly. But, uh, yeah, so... Um, that's all right, that one. 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 Uh, dancing, dan dancing, dancing stage Euro mix. So I think I've also got this one as well. Uh, it's now time for that regular feature where Retro Bear reads out track listings from various dancing and music games. Uh, except they haven't got one in here. Oh, well. oh Boo Earns. Oh, no, 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 they have got. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we got Word Up by Cameo, I Will Survive, uh, Rushing, Resonance, So Good. That's a Boy Zone, I believe. Cause it's got Ronan Keating on the um, credits. Uh, video Killed the Radio Star as well. That's a rubbish lineup if I've ever heard one. Here we go, that's exactly a bit. 65 tracks and five of them you've heard of. I could have read there from the back. Oh, you got uh, you got Shafts, Mucho Mambo. 24 tracks and six of them you've heard of. There we go. Uh, I've never heard of this one either. This is Warzone 2100. Or 2100. I don't know. It's from ADOS though, so... Not sure... What this is? Oh, real-time strategy game. So I can use a PlayStation mouse with it, even better. Did you say mouse compatible? Yes, mouse compatible. So that's brilliant. So I've got the mouse for that. It's over there. I'm not going to go and get it. Um, Jet Racer from Midas. You know it's going to be a good game when it's from Midas. I think I've got this. Me, I've got this one. But it's no reason why other people can't experience the joy of. Um, there's, there's a manual there of Midas games and their supreme quality terrible games there we go uh, FIFA 99 Dennis Bergkamp on the front don't think I've got this one Without memorising whether I've got it or not, I don't know. So I can't possibly tell you. There we go. Uh, and then FIFA 2004. So I've always thought 2002 was late. I ain't sure how 2004 goes. But yeah. Uh, no manual with that one, sadly. But FIFA 2004 is authentic football. It says so on the back. Now... Pete knows me well enough by now to know that uh, this is right up my sort of street. Uh, no manual or, or cover of this, just a loose disc. And this is Estriad 2001 by Midas Games. So it's not only a game about horses, because I don't even see Equest Equestriad 2001. You see, there's a guy in a show jumping horse there, but it's also by Midas Games, which means it's also going to be horse games and rubbish at the same time. But I'm going to love it. I'm going to absolutely love it. Um, yeah, Everybody's Golf. Which I've got uh, World Tour on the PlayStation 3, which is a fantastically playable golf game. I think these are great. Great, fun little games where you don't need to be a fan of golf. These aren't your PGA and your Tiger Woods and your leaderboards. Uh, the, these are fun, straightforward. I suppose, you know, you say in the style of Mario Golf, I would expect. If you're a fan of Mario Golf. You'll enjoy that. You might have seen it from all the stickers on it. This is Jimmy White's cue ball. Jimmy White's two cue ball. So those of us who played Jimmy White's will win snooker on the Amiga. And I think it was on the uh, Mega Drive as well. And the ST. Uh, I didn't know they made a sequel. So this came out of Blockbuster by the looks of it. It says price four ninety nine. But yeah. So it also includes the greatest conversions of other bar games such as Darts and Drafts plus One Arm Bandit and Drop Zone arcade cabinets. Of course, this came from the guy who made Drop Zone, which was Arch McLean. Another Formula One game, Formula One 2001. I don't think I've got either. There we go, Formula One 
all we want. Now I thought I got this game, but apparently I don't appear to have it. Uh, case broken, 49p according to WH Smith, and this is Knockout Kings 2001 with old Lennox Lewis on the front there. Now I'm not not going to open this too much because the case is broken, but the manual is in there along with the disc behind it. So I'm hoping with, with some of these I'll be able to make you know, full cases out of those. Here it is, Fight Night Games. Uh, just two more to show you now. Um, another joint stickers all over this actor of soccer too with Alan interesting shearer on the front. Or oh, Alan put a sock in it shearer. Um, with no disc in it. I just realised that. <laughs> well, I can find a loose copy for that. That's not a problem. Have I got this one or not? I think I've got three. I don't know. And there's a, a thing on the back side. Actually, so I could too, but I might be able to make use that case for something anyway. And then finally, and I think probably this one might be my favourite one out of the lot because I was after this game for quite some time. It's Anna Cornacovas of Cornacovas, Anna Cornacovas Smash Court Tennis, which I think has got the reputation of being one of the best, if not the best, tennis games on the PlayStation One. Got all the manuals in there. Just a little bit of an issue with the hinge. There we go. Ah, lovely. Won't be a video of me, sh you know, showing you stuff without stuff falling out of the the boxes, would it? There we go. Uh, corner coach. What? Smash court tennis. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And there we go. What a bonanza that's been. So we've got great PlayStation One gifts just in there from Dar Steve as well. Dane's just sending me some PlayStation PlayStation One game, a Mega Drive game. Got some 360 games and Master System game and the Wii U game from. Uh, Marcus and the stuff that um, uh, Mike that loves games sent me as well. Just, just overwhelmed by it all, guys. Your, your, your generosity is is just uh, far beyond the realms of, of grat you know, greatness. And I'm just so grateful to know so many great people. And yes, I appreciate that. Uh, you know, one day I'm pretty sure you'll, you, I can return the favour somehow we ever find a way of doing that i'm not really sure but we will do we will do and this is just great it's all going to go into the collection all going to be looked after and um hopefully played as well because i'm trying to work my way through some of those at the moment but yeah this is just just fantastic so i once again thank you thank you I, i'll give you all a virtual hug and a handshake but i'll give you one of those at the moment which is the sort of thing you can do i'm, I'm not going to use a connector for it because i don't know and i'll probably embarrass myself by doing that more than usual I suppose really um but yeah so there we go thank you very much indeed for those that is the end of this video hope you enjoyed it's nice to talk to you again um from the confines of the gaming pantry i'm still here and uh, keep your eye on because there'll be second part of this video uh, which will focus on uh pickups uh, mrs bear's repairs and also some more shout outs as well and if anything else arrives in the meantime, I will also put that in there. But uh, yeah, so well, I've got, got, got pickups. I've got a couple of bits of hardware. Uh, so I've got one bit of hardware. I've got three or four games to show and uh, some uh, other stuff as well, which is gaming related, but not game related. But I think uh, if you're a fan of a certain series of games, then you might be interested in this. And certainly I know quite a few people have already bought things like this as well. So uh, it's a good way of sort of saying. And, and to be honest with you, I don't even know why I bought it. But it was worth it. I'd much rather have it than not. I've just got no idea what I'm going to do with it. Some people will know what I'm talking about. Some people won't. But I'm out of time. Thank you very much indeed for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and tick the notification bell for more uh, updates when I put videos out. Don't forget to check out the new series on the channels. We've got TMB Gaming Podcast at 7 every Sunday. That's a, a, an hour to two hours of, of five, four or five of us having a chat about games and various subjects of the week. Uh, also, um, the Barely Played series we started a couple of weeks ago, just focusing on you know, quick, short, burst, 10-minute videos. I'll talk more about these in my next update. Uh, some gameplay videos going up there as well. And for those who, who did listen to uh, Desert Island Games the first time, Thank you again for your support. Thank you once again to Alex Griffo Griffiths for of Griffo's Retro Gaming for his uh, time on that. It's been brilliant. I've already got three or four people who've shown a real interest in taking part in that as well. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and have a look at it. And if it is something you like to do, drop me a line because uh, I'd very much like to try and do one of these sort of every three weeks 
and uh, talk to people and it's off camera as well we're not going to do cameras uh, unless it's actually specifically something we want to do uh, we'll be talking off camera so if you are an off camera tuber who didn't get a chance perhaps to do some of the other stuff during lockdown here's an opportunity for you to do that and speak about it if you're faced you know if you're on camera tuber even better it'd be fantastic to do it but go back and check that out desert island games um it's a bit of fun and uh, i think it might be something that you may want to do who knows but for now i'm done uh all the very best for you take care stay safe and we'll see you again very soon Bye for now.